time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. It's time to follow my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G E E K L Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter, so follow me there too. And it's time to get this series review started. The series them is dropping on Amazon Prime Video today. It's made up of ten episodes, and it kind of reminds you of you know Jordan's Peels, Us, and Get Out, which mixes like racism, but also with you know, a little bit of the supernatural. A same, all not same lines as HBO's new Lovecraft. Uh, mm -hmm. Them revolves around a black family that moves to an all white neighborhood of Compton in the 1950s and deals with racist neighbors who want them out and strange paranormal activity in their home. The 10 episodes of the series take place over 10 days with flashbacks of the past events happening that led the family to moving in the first place. On Prime Video's Them is not for the faint of heart. It is gut-wrenching at times, disturbing, you know, not just because of the racism, which I mean, yes, that's disturbing, not only because of the paranormal activity, which that scares me because I don't like anything to do with ghosts, but there was just some scenes that were just so violent and, and disturbing and, and uh, horrific, I could say. There was one episode in particular, episode five, that I could barely get through. And after watching it, I had to put the show away for a while and step away and just get composure of myself. The cast is amazing. And the episodes, they each allow them to shine, each cast member to kind of shine in their own way as, the, as each of the episodes go on. You know, you have the main characters, the Emery family, and the mom is kind of lucky, who is kind of the center of it, and you really put focus. But then you also have the white racist neighbors. And one in particular, Betty, who was cast perfectly. You could not find a white or white girl to put in this to represent the racism from the white neighbors. With a gripping plot, a stellar cast, a wonderful cinematography that really gives you that feel of the 70s, that it's stylish and from the camera angles and everything, you know, this is a must watch. I highly recommend it. It is disturbing. It is hard at times, but you know, it gives actually some poignancy to it. You will, especially dealing with things like the racism, which even in today's America, we're still dealing with. Let's get to the Parents Guide review. This one has very strong language, very strong, harsh language, lots of profanity throughout from S word, A word, F word, all the above. There's a lot of violence in this, a lot of death. And like I said, episode five, I had to walk away because something occurred that was just the, one of the most horrific acts that you can even think of and it really stuck with me. There isn't too bad on, on the sexual content. You see women in their underwear, but that's about it as far as nudity. There is a rape scene, which is very triggering and, and hard to watch, and a couple of just other making out scenes. As far as mature content, well, you can expect. They have some mature content, especially when you're dealing with racism. You get kind of the version of their neighborhood burning kind of the crosses in the yard, calling the family the N-word, writing the N-word on their homes, which, you know, if this is something that could trigger you, definitely stay away from them. Although, I still highly suggest this is a watch. If you've seen this, let me know what you think. Comments down below. And until next time, mwah!